base builder, and he blames it on alcohol. Their staff is like, doesn't even care. We Alex post here. Space is EDP confirmed! This is literally amazing. This is amazing. Viva the revolution! Nobody believed me. No one did. Oh, I think the site's down. I think they shut down the site. No! No! So, what brings you out here today? Um, well, well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. I'm just gonna use his pedophilia to uh, grow my channel. Sussy among us. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I did not know where I was going with that. Hey folks, how's it going? It's Game Webcam. So, if you're in the sandbox community, which most of you are, I'm sure you've heard the news by now. The day before Easter, a Google Doc was released by former staff member Charisma, where she leaks screenshots of Space Builder acting very sus. <laughs> Okay, I need to actually stop doing that. This document has led the entire Brick Hill community to start lighting up brighter than a Christmas tree. And before I continue, I want to quickly get something out of the way. Yes, I am aware that I haven't been uploading for the past few months. The main reason behind that is because I am going through a really deep depression right now. It has to do with what is going on in my personal life, and I don't think right now is a good time to talk about it. I'll probably talk about it in a future video, and that's going to be like months away. I promise you, I haven't forgotten about this channel, and it has nothing to do with the Sandbox community. Also, thank you guys for getting me to a thousand subscribers. No, this is not the 1K subscriber video, but I will be starting on that video soon. Anyways, let's get back to why you're all here. Here's the thing, I was eventually going to make another Brick Hill video on this channel, talking about what has happened in the past few months, including the five year anniversary, the Easter event, and a little feud that I got into with Space Builder. However, all of these pale in comparison to what has happened in the past few days. I honestly was not expecting to make this video at all. When this first happened, it felt so surreal. I couldn't believe this was happening. The Brick Hill server and the forums were being heavily bombarded as the whole Brick Hill community was essentially turning against Space Builder. It honestly got so bad that the entire forums had to be shut down, the entire Discord server had to be locked down, and all of the staff, except for Space and Jeffamy, who is the website developer, were demoted. As I am making this video, Space Builder has put out an initial statement, but there is no official response yet. Keep in mind, this is an ongoing situation, and there is going to be a follow-up video for this. So if you want to be notified when it first drops, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell. I'll be giving my thoughts on this statement later, but right now I want to examine the Google Doc first. Alright, so here we have the full Google Doc of uh right here so as i said earlier this document was created by former brick hill staff member charisma with some assistance with from other staff members such as ezcha and yes yasin i really am bad at pronouncing names today I mean, it's almost three in the morning, so what do you expect? So there have been people who've been going to extreme lengths for what Space Builder has done. For example, don't dox him, okay? That's absolutely not cool whatsoever. It's completely effed. Nobody should deserve to be doxxed in any way, shape, or form. Let's start off the document. So all of this happened on New Year's Eve, so... Uh, apparently, Space Builder has been drunk, and he decided to go onto Roblox out of all places to talk to women. That is already a red flag from the beginning. Here's the thing. I have never and will never use Roblox as a platform for looking for mates. That is honestly beyond belief because roblox is a platform for all ages and i want to treat it that way i'm not going to use roblox as a dating platform 
forever. Considering that I am 21 years old, right? It honestly terrifies me to get drunk because I don't know what is going to happen as a result of drinking too much. Like, I could get so wasted that I could end up doing something stupid. He adds a 14-year-old girl to this group chat asking her to join the voice call. Apparently, he kicked out a bunch of people for this private conversation. Yeah, that's totally not a red flag at all. So he tried getting her to show her face and also to show nudes. And then he all of a sudden re-added everybody back into the group. But this is the thing. This is not one isolated incident going on here. This is literally multiple people that he has decided to go after in one night. It's very hard to believe that this was done accidentally. Okay, so here's another situation that happened a little over two years ago. And uh, based on these messages, he tried hooking up with a 13-year-old. So yeah, that's, that's totally not uh, creepy at all. One thing that's in common with all of these situations is that Space Builder seems to be drunk. Which I don't think is a valid excuse for any of these interactions. And at the bottom of the page here, uh, there is some video proof. So this leads to an upload by Ezcha himself. So the purpose of this video is that it's trying to prove that these screenshots are not faked. Like, it's very easy to Photoshop or even just fake up some Discord messages with... Uh, inspect element considering that discord is quite insecure with that purpose and I'm assuming that this gif here is supposed to show that uh, this is the real space builder that is sending these messages it's not uh, an impersonator account or whatever so that's pretty much everything there is in the Google Doc. I have screen capped the entire Google Doc and you can read it at your own time. Now these are some pretty serious allegations and the people who brought this up are people who were close with Space Builder. These were just random people who decided to make an expose to ruin Space Builder's career. Now, let's take a look at Space Builder's initial statement. Here's the statement once more. If you want to read the whole thing, go ahead and pause the video. As you can see on the bottom, this statement was met with very negative reactions because it really doesn't address a whole lot. I mean, we have your typical, this is slander and points that are meant to undermine the Google Doc. He states that there's messages taken out of context and things that are incorrect, but he fails to really specify what is wrong. So it pretty much just screams out classic damage control. However, there are a few things he says in this statement that do stand out to me. The first claim that really got my attention is when he called Brick Hill a passion project. Uh, Alex, have you forgotten that we have done an interview together? In that interview, you said that Brick Hill has grown past the point of being a passion project. Whether you said this for the sake of my assignment or not, there is actual proof that you were planning on making Brick Hill a serious business. Are you considering yeah. Brick Hill more of like a passion project or do you think this is something that you could actually plan on doing like full time? It, it definitely started as a passion project and honestly up until recently I had just considered it a passion project. It, it never really took over like, you know, this is serious, this could be a real thing. I should have realized the potential it had sooner. I would love to build it into a full-time thing and it does it, it practically is there like potentially uh we hire people we have contracts we have freelancers and people working for us now the fact that you said that brick hill is a passion project is insulting considering that you have an entire staff team that is working to help make brick hill stand out as a viable alternative i don't think someone takes a business management course just to operate a passion project. Now I take a, a business and management course, um, you know, just to kind of help me along with this journey. Why would you go out of your way to lie to people like this? I mean, 
Don't even get me started on how much you were lying to me in DMs when we had our little episode. The other statement that stands out to me is when he calls a lot of the messages he said in the Google Doc as jokes. Now, playing devil's advocate here, I can see where he is coming from when he's saying this. After all, Space Builder has always been the kind of guy to make crass and tasteless jokes. <clears throat> but he crossed a line when he decided to say stuff like this, and I'm sure even Space himself is willing to admit that. Another thing that makes people want to side with Space Builder is the timing of this whole thing. After all, the dock dropped the day before Easter, when Brick Hill was anticipating a huge event and hyping up its community. This dock at the very least has postponed this event, and at the worst probably cancelled it altogether. So, it isn't surprising that some people are thinking that this was done deliberately, not only to cancel Space Builder, but also negatively affect the Brick Hill community itself. And whether this was intentional or not, I think this was poor timing on behalf of Charisma and some of the other former staff because there are definitely now some people out there who are skeptical and think there might have been an ulterior motive. Now, I'm sure we'll be getting a lot more clarification on some of these claims when the full response is released, but as I'm recording this, the Google Doc has now been updated to a simple apology letter for Charisma, claiming that she didn't vet the testimonies enough and thought that they were doing the right thing, but after some apparent discussion, they took down the entire document. But something about this apology feels very wrong. It wouldn't be surprising if she was guilt-tripped or coerced to take down the document. Allegedly. Now, I have to say allegedly because who knows how trigger-happy Space Builder might be to litigate after this situation, to be honest. He has a pretty good case of libel and slander here. In addition, the video Escha uploaded is now private, but... Don't worry because I managed to capture the original document in 4K through some scroll capturing and some Polytoria members were able to download the video before it went private. So everything that was present in the document is archived. This is just a reminder that whatever you post on the internet is going to stay on the internet forever. Here's the thing, even if Charisma is being genuine here, the damage has already been done. At the very least, this whole incident has permanently damaged the Brick Hill brand and Space Builder's reputation. However, in the worst case, this honestly could spell the end of the Brick Hill platform as we know it. Now, I'm not sure if many of you realize how much it means if Brick Hill were to shut down. Brick Hill is the go-to alternative for anybody who is new to the alternative Roblox community. I mean, the first video I made on the Sandbox community was on Brick Hill. Brick Hill has been the only alternative that many people actually believed in and saw the potential. And I've seen this community be very resilient and will ride or die with this platform. Now there has been a quote going around by Space Builder and a couple of the staff members saying that Brick Hill is more than one person and it doesn't rely on one person. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is the Brick Hill community being overly optimistic here. Now, for the reasons I mentioned, it's completely understandable why they need to be optimistic. However, Brick Hill is a platform that has been around for five years, run by Space Builder and his brother Luke before he sadly passed away. Unfortunately, Space Builder and his brother Luke are the reason why Brick Hill came to be, and he is an integral part of the brand. You cannot just simply separate him from the Brick Hill brand. I mean, take a look at what happened after Brick Planet had its shutdown. We saw two platforms appear from this shutdown, Brick Patched and Buildiverse. Unfortunately, as of recently, Alex has head off to college and as a result, Brick Patched is now delayed indefinitely. Buildiverse has its own fair share of controversies. I'm looking at you, Kyle. And the fact that they're using a Discord bot to make an Easter egg hunt, honestly, 
what a waste of time and energy. Isaac had such a huge role in Brick Planet. As much of a scumbag as he is, Space Builder is pretty much the same. If you separate Space Builder from Brick Hill, Brick Hill will only be a former shadow of itself. And that's terrifying because it puts the entire sandbox community in a limbo state. The next best alternative is Polytoria, which even though I have a bias for Polytoria because I am in the beta program, it isn't gonna go anywhere unless Willem Stellar gets his sh** together. Still, Polytoria is probably the best we have at this point. Also guys, please don't try out platforms like UX Hill and Mopaive. UX Hill is built on stolen source code and is facing a potential shutdown from Kyle and Isaac Heimer. And Mopaive has a history of repeatedly shutting down, so it probably isn't a good idea to move there either. But the last thing that I want to talk about is how it's going to affect my content going forward. After all, most of you are here for watching me make sandbox content. Now, I still love making sandbox content, don't get me wrong, but there's a reason why I also make other types of content. If I were to only dedicate my channel to making sandbox content, I wouldn't be where I am today. Ever since making my last sandbox video, I have been noticing some glaring issues with the sandbox community as a whole. I'm not afraid to go ahead and point out problems with the sandbox community because I think honesty is probably my best feature. I'll talk more about the sandbox community in general in my follow-up video. Now I try to look at this situation from as many perspectives as I could and not to go low as to exploit people's anger and hatred for self-benefit. If you felt there is something that I haven't addressed in this video or something that I didn't consider in this video and you want me to talk about it in my follow-up video, feel free to leave a comment down below. But that's really all I have to say for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when I make my follow-up video. This is Game Webcam, and take care.